In this video, we will be refreshing your memory on a few of your favourite geometry topics. Some of the tricks and shortcuts you may have not even seen before. Our objectives over the course of this video are to remind you of some of the geometrical formulas you may have forgotten, show you how the UCAT may test your geometry knowledge, show you the shortcut regarding similar shapes. First, you probably already know that the perimeter means the length of the edge of a shape and that the area of a square is x squared, where x is the side length of the square. You may already be very familiar with the fact that a rectangle is simply base times height. But did you remember that the area of a parallelogram is base times height also? Here are the most forgotten formulas. The perimeter of a circle is pi times diameter. The area of a circle is pi times radius squared. The area of a parallelogram is base times height. The area of a triangle is half base times height. The area of a trapezium is half a plus b times height, where a and b are the two parallel sides. The volume of a cylinder is pi times radius squared times height. The volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 times pi times radius cubed. Luckily, the UCAT isn't too punishing with these formulas and will often remind you of them, but we recommend you memorize them anyway to gain a speed advantage. So how will the UCAT test this knowledge? Usually with some relatively simple diagrams and a few calculations, perhaps make it mixing in a few percentages or fractions. For example, Laura walks five kilometers around the edge of a circular path, shown above. What percent of the circular track does Laura have left to walk? All you would need to do is calculate the perimeter or circumference of a circle using the memorized formula. If the perimeter of a circle equals pi times diameter and a diameter is twice the length of the radius, then the perimeter of this circular path is pi times two times two or pi times four. Pi can be rounded to 3.14. Pi times four equals 12.56. If Laura has traveled five kilometers along this path, then she has traveled five over 12.56 which equals 0.3981, which in turn is 39.81% of the way. Be careful though, because the question was asking for the percent left to walk. 100% minus 39.81% equals 60.19%, which is the correct answer. Let's try these questions now. So for question one, the answer was A. So instead of dividing the garden into several shapes, we could just pretend that we have a complete rectangle of length 17 meters and height 10 meters, and then subtract the area of the corner triangle. A rectangle of length 17 meters and height 10 meters will have an area of 17 times 10, therefore 170 meters squared. The corner triangle, which has been cut off, has a length of four, 17 minus 13, and a height of two, 10 minus eight. The area of the triangle is half times base times height, which equals half times four times two, which therefore is four meters squared. Therefore, the area of the garden is 170 meters squared minus four meters squared, giving you 166 meters squared. 166 times 150, the cost per meter square of paving, equals 24,900 pounds. Question two, the answer was D this time. The volume of a cylinder is pi times radius squared times height, which in this case would be 3.14 times 3.52 times 10, which equals 384.65. 
250 out of 385.65 as a percentage is calculated by doing 250 over 384.65 times 100. This is covered in more depth in the percent of tutorial. 250 over 384.65 times by 100 equals 64.99, therefore 65%. Before we finish, let's take a quick moment to show a geometry trick that might just come in handy for UCAT quantitative reasoning. Essentially, the trick is that if you have two similar shapes, i.e. the same angles, just a different size, and you know the length of the sides of the bigger shape are two times the length of the sides in the smaller shape, then the area of the larger shape will be two squared times as big, i.e. four times as big, and the volume will be two cubed times as big, so eight times as big. Here's a quick example. But don't worry, UCAT will give you some fairly simple numbers to work with if they test this geometric similarity. The two similar shapes above represent the blueprints for a concert hall. If the perimeter of shape B is three times the bigger than the perimeter of shape A, then shape B is how many times bigger than shape A? If the perimeter, which is a one-dimensional length of shape B, is three times bigger than the perimeter of shape A, then the area, which is two-dimensional, of shape B will be 3 squared, or 9 times bigger. These similar shapes don't come up often in the UCAT, but they are fun to know about, just in case. We hope you are newly refreshed with confidence in tackling geometry questions, which are not as hard as they often look. Now get out there and practice. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.